uh, safety things, the, the ice has changed dramatically since last night when we set up. We left around 6 o'clock and everything looked great. It still looks really great, don't get me wrong. Oh, okay. but, but what we want to make sure is it's as safe as possible for everyone. So basically what we have is we have a, we have, you'll, you'll see it when you get down there, we call it the plunger entrance and in there is an area with the changing rooms. We're only going to let like 40 people at a time in there and then we'll let like 20 people on the ice. They'll plunge, come all the way off the ice before we send the next 20 people out on the ice. And it's not like we're going to count and say, oh, leper killings, only half of you get to go because we're at 20. I mean, we're going to let whole teams go out there. But we just want to make it really safe so it can be one line out and one line back and you're not having to jostle around around different people. So we have carpet and sand down and it should be really safe. But I just wanted to let you know that, you know, it's not going to be like we're lining 150 people up and you're just going to plunge and go and go and go. You know, we're going to only allow certain amounts in at a time. So make sure you have your team together before you even enter that changing area. Um, and you'll see it when you get down there. It's, it's pretty easy to look at. Um, thank you guys so much for coming out. It's going to be a great day. Um, I'm wearing shorts for the first time ever at a plunge. That's pretty cool. Uh, so uh, thank you for your support for the athletes of Special Olympics. We appreciate you coming out. Let's have a good time. The surface temperature is 40.6 in the middle, and the edges of it are 37.5, so you're going to want to head towards the middle when you jump. Just for reference, last year the pool was 34 degrees, so it's... Uh, it's really a lot warmer this year. I don't even think you need suits. Honey Marks, get set, plunge!
alert for the green apple in St. Patrick's Day. Now, 